Now we are going to discuss about supply chain management. So what supply chain management is and how it does it impacting overall to the retailer. Let me share it with you quickly. So first of all, supply chain is the logistic aspect of the value delivery network or value delivery chain. So once you deliver a particular product to a customer, of course you have to use some supply chain. So supply chain is the key. So who are the key parties? Who are the key people who are involved? First of all is the manufacturer. Then from the manufacturer, the product has to move from manufacturer to the wholesaler or distributor. In some cases it is importer also. So from the manufacturer, maybe it will move to importer, importer to distributor. So in any case would be different if the nature of the product will be different. So then you have the third party uh, specialist, which can be, uh, for example, agents, which can be, for example, brokers, which can be, for example, the parties who are actually taking care of the stock. And then at the end of the day, area wholesalers and then would be retailers. So retailers would be the one who is actually, who will be actually uh, selling this product to the customer. So in the value delivery network, you have starting from the manufacturer till the consumer. So how the product will reach to the consumer? This will be through the proper supply chain. If we have uh, a pictorial view of it also, let me share it with you. So first of all, uh, in order to understand completely about the supply chain management, for example, you can take any product. So the first thing would be the raw material of it. So supply chain starts from the raw material and then raw material, procurement of raw material and then the components. So what are the components that of course will help or assemble? For example, if you are talking about, for example, supply chain management of an electronics. So again, first of all would be the raw material. A raw material would be different components or maybe uh, you can move after the components to the third part, which is the manufacturer. So third component of uh, supply chain is the manufacturer who will actually assemble and who will actually manufacture the components and the raw material. So then the manufacturer, of course, it will sell to either importer, will either wholesaler, will either distributor, who will ultimately sell it to number four, of course, which is retailer. So maybe at number four, you can have distributor. Maybe at number four, you can have a wholesaler and then followed by a retailer. So retailer is a supermarket, is, an hyper, is a hypermarket, is a retail store, is a convenience store, is any retailer who is targeting, who is selling to consumer. So ultimately, this retailer will be sell to consumer. So last part of the supply chain management would be the consumer. So from the raw material till the uh, product, finished product to the consumer, this whole chain, this whole chain is actually the supply chain, which is actually helping the, uh, the retailer, which is actually helping retailer or enabling retailer to sell finished goods to the consumer. So the customer will not know that where the crop was and how it was uh, cut, where it was processed, how it was packed, where it was packed, and then ultimately it is reaches to the retailer and retailer will easily sell to the consumer. So supply chain management, for example, uh, the retailers like Walmart, they have the sole belief that their success story is all about supply chain. So for example, the retailer has his own brand development. So what they do that they try to be part of some other supply chain management, some other supply chain component, some other supply chain factor so that they can improve their margin, they can improve their profitability, they can improve their sales. So supply chain is the key success for lot of retailers and it is the basic component which has to have, uh, let's say, uh, every with every retailer. If you have failure in supply chain management, not timely delivery of goods and services, ultimately it will give a loss to the retailer. So objective of the retailer is to earn more, is to have more margin, more profitability, more sales, and more assortment, timely assortment, cost-effective assortment that can be possible through supply chain management.